Hey, Wonder Hussy here, just tooling around the backcountry on my way from a hot spring to my next destination. And while well, I was driving through a very, very remote and desolate mountain pass, and it was kind of a last minute route. I was planning on taking a different route, but then I thought, eh, let me go over this mountain pass. Never know what'll be up there. Well, guess what? <laughs> I came upon this amazing abandoned ranch. And there's so many buildings here that it feels more like a ghost town than just a ranch. So I'm gonna call it a ghost ranch. Now I did a cursory look around before I started shooting because I wasn't sure like if I really wanted to stop because I'm kind of in a hurry, but there was enough interesting things around that I thought, oh my God, all right, I'll bite. So the first thing I, <laughs> Well, I'm going to start back here. I'm, I think I'm back by the chicken coop, it looks like. But I thought that was kind of interesting because it has that old Pabst Blue Ribbon <laughs> metal billboard or sign that's being used as sighting. And that is an amazing, oh gosh, it looks 70s, I guess. The guy's got those mutton chop sideburns. Wasn't that like a 70s thing, 60s maybe? Wow, that's old. Now, because I already kind of looked around, and saw what, what I think is interesting. I'm gonna try to make this video kind of snappy and fast because, well, like I said, I am in a hurry. I really shouldn't have even stopped here, but I just thought it was, it was too cool and too kind of, well, sad and evocative of a bygone era to pass by. But that being said, I'm not gonna stop in every building because oh, I'd be here all day. Like this, I think, is just some kind of old barn and it's wired shut, you know what I mean? And I can see looking through the crack. I don't know if you can see, there's really nothing in there. So it looks like this was some kind of old ranch, obviously. We're in ranch land and well, you can just tell from the buildings and the way things are laid out and the old bags of feed and seed that it was definitely a ranch. And to that end, look, there's even an old piece of tack up here. Look how cool that is. It's like part of a bridle, I think. Some old horse. I mean, when you look at these buildings, they're really old, <laughs> like the construction. It's just like logs. They're not even stripped of the bark. So I don't know if this was like a super old ranch that they just kind of added on to because eventually it was wired for electrical. <laughs> Way up here, imagine that. So there's just junk and detritus and broken wood strewn all over the yard here. <laughs> but then sticking out like a well, like a pimple on the end of a young girl's nose is this beautiful, bright blue range. Look at this. It's amazing. I don't know how long this has been sitting out here, but the, the color hasn't faded at all from the sun. <laughs> Look, it says it was a brown. Uh, I would have thought it was a blue, but that's just me. That's one of my favorite colors, man. That like kind of, I guess, turquoise or Persian blue. Oh, it's gorgeous. What's for dinner? Nothing. I thought it was kind of cool too, the way they built their corral, just out of those long sticks kind of twisted around each other. It's really neat. Usually you see them stacked vertically, not horizontally like that, sort of woven together. And then look at all that barbed wire. Oh man, they, this was a very well-provisioned ranch at one time. I wonder what happened. Look over here, you can see what I was talking about when I said uh, this is cattle country. I guess there's some kind of water source or well up here because there's this beautiful big green meadow and there's still cows grazing in it. But I can't imagine that anyone is still running this operation. I don't know, maybe it's like open rangeland. Okay, now there's a whole bunch of buildings back here. Uh, and some of them look real old. I mean, look at this. This is just brick, or not brick, excuse me, just rock, uh, chinked with mud. And <laughs> chicken wire over the window. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's like a workshop. Well, let's just go look in the door. You know what I mean? Why peek through the window when we can just look in the door? Wow, look at this amazing old workshop. I mean, yeah, look at the walls, just rock. But dang, all their tools. It looked like it was very neatly organized, all this shelving, you know? And then look down here, it looks like they were practicing uh, brands, their branding for the ranch. Interesting. I'm not sure what that thing would have been for with the handle on it. Oh, a rabbit! A rabbit just came down from the rafter. Yikers, I gotta be careful. There could be snakes in here. Oh, this looks like it's some kind of weird drainage. 
I thought this was like a blacksmith's forge. Isn't this like a blacksmith's room? Because look, there's that stump in the middle like that you would use to hammer stuff on and there's railroad ties stuck in it. And then it almost looks like that's a barrel for the fire. And then whatever that thing with the crank on it is, it's got a hose attached to it or a pipe. My word, what on God's green earth was this? I don't know. Pretty interesting, though. Man, yeah, look, even all the nuts and stuff are still in there. All the nuts and bolts and fittings. Oh, man. Really sad. Look here. Somebody was practicing their carving. Oh, look, here's nails hanging on the wall for them to hang their coats. Or maybe it was just for hanging belts and such. Okay, wow, that old workshop was amazing. It's like, there's the old outhouse. There's a really old crumbling stone ruin that I guess back in the day might have been like the field hands quarters, the ranch hands quarters. And then look at this shed. It has a like a concrete slab foundation. Like there was some kind of engine or something bolted to that at one time. Maybe it was like a generator up here. That's how they got their power because there is a big electrical box in here. Hmm. I mean, it's really creepy because it's uh, kind of breezy today and these metal pieces of corrugated metal keep moving and it sounds like somebody's here. <laughs> I sure hope nobody's here. Wouldn't want to stumble on a meth lab. Not today. What's this? This is a pretty big stone building and the door is... How do I open it? It's not locked. Oh, well, maybe it's nailed shut. Let's see if we can go around the other side. Oh wow, it's just some really old house, I guess. Oh my goodness. Oh man, it's really locked up tight. Oh my goodness, must be historical. Maybe they're trying to protect it. Oh look, the front isn't. I mean, it has a lock on it, but it's not actually locked. And it's just some kind of old workshop. But golly, that is old. Dang. Be real careful in here. No telling what kind of creepy snakes are in here. Wow, look at that creepy graffiti on the wall back there. Get a little bit closer. Oh my goodness, this is an old, old room. Oh, yikes, a bird. <sighs> Pleasant Valley, Nevada. That's what it looks like it says. But it's written in the most unpleasant way possible. Yikers. Okay, let's get out of here. This is creepy. Let's do that bird flying around. Are you stuck in here? Go out. Door's wide open, you idiot. I guess that's what where they get the term bird brain from. Oh, it's a bat. Oh, careful, feller. I'm sorry, I'll leave. Okay, hold on. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to freak him out. I also don't want to get bit. Okay, yikes. I'm sorry, little feller. I didn't mean to scare him. But I think that's actually an urban legend that you can get rabies from a bat. I feel like I read an article where bats really won't bite you unless you really, really screw with them. And this whole notion of a bat getting caught in a girl's hair and biting her and then she gets rabies. I think it's bunk, but... Either way, I'm not here to test out that uh, knowledge today. <laughs> okay, so we just came out of the bat cave there. We've explored all the other buildings on this <laughs> creepy ghost ranch, but now here's the ranch house. You know how I always like to save this stuff for last. To me, it's the most interesting part. So it looks like, first of all, they had these huge cottonwood trees in the front yard that must have been great for shade. And oh look, a satellite dish. So people were living up here not that long ago. Okay, let's go inside. Try to figure out who lived here. Gotta be real careful. I don't want to run into any snakes. I'm back. Like I said, I already kind of went in here and looked around to see if it was interesting enough. So uh, I know two things. Yes, it is interesting enough. And secondly, there's some kind of giant rat or something in the bathroom. So I got to be careful of that. Okay, let's go poking around. Okay, so we just came in that door and we're in kind of like a hallway. You can see there's like a weird kind of linoleum floor. And then straight ahead of us is the bathroom where the rat is. I guess we might as well just go in there first. Coming back, feller. Explains all the rat poo. There he is. It's a big one too. Yikes. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I'm not going to spend too much time in here because the rat and also just... Well, apparently there were women here. Look, Tampax. 
So there was like a ranch wife or a ranch boss lady. Oh, look, and there's even a, that's a bag from the Gap. I find that hard to square with hard working ranch folks wearing Gap clothes. Mm -hmm. I guess everybody wore Gap clothes back in the day. All right, I'm leaving. Okay, and then we have an old magazine on the floor here. What is it? Oh, here. The Los Angeles Times Magazine, November 14th, 1993. Oh, wow. It's not that long ago. I mean, mm -hmm. wow. Interesting. Okay. LA though, that's far from here. Okay, so that was the bathroom. It was straight ahead of us when we came in. Now to the left, there's a living room with a collapsed ceiling. Let's go to the right first, which goes to this really kind of creepy, depressing bedroom. Look at the carpet, <laughs> mattress, even the blankets still on the bed, aw. Little chair by the window. What's this? Oh, look. Gary Wright. Oh, isn't that the guy who did Dream Weaver? I believe it can get me through the night. Sure is. Okay, well, I don't really want to go opening too many of these drawers because I'm afraid there's like rats and whatnot in them and they'll come jumping out at me. So there's probably nothing in there, but look at the bed, man. The blankets are still on it. Even the bedspread. Oh my God, I feel like I gotta look under the bed, which is probably terrifying but you never know oh, it doesn't look like there's anything down there no dead bodies unfortunately but look at how cute the bedspread was there was definitely a woman's touch in this ranch which explains the tampax and the vacuum cleaner look at this old hoover convertible vacuum cleaner yikes that's the old school kind okay and then there's another bedroom back here for two one two eight both people got their own little chair. There's a really cute little table there. Look at these cute pink frilly curtains. Oh, this must have been a girl's room, two girls. Maybe it was two sisters. You know, otherwise, why would there be these really girly pink frilly curtains? Look at this. That had to be girls. I can't imagine that they would put those curtains up for a room where just two ranch hands stayed. Look at the, oh man, the wallpaper. I guess it's wallpaper. Yeah, it is. If you look up close, you can see a pattern on it. Wow, that's old. And then this like wainscoting. Or is that wainscoting or that's wainscoting? Either way, there's a lot of fancy, <sighs> fancy flourishes in here. It's so creepy. And then, oh, well, there is one more kind of cot in the middle of the room. So I guess technically three people could have slept in here. Look at this though. Oh my gosh. It's like they just walked out yesterday. They're down vest. It's one of those awesome 80s down puffer vest like he wore in Back to the Future. Remember how Marty McFly wore a red puffy vest? I think it was red. And when he went back into the 50s, <laughs> and when he met his dad, Crispin Glover, he was like, why are you wearing a life preserver? <laughs> hey, that was the style back then. I mean, I guess that could have been a girl's puffer vest. I think guys and girls both wore them back then. And it probably gets cold up here because, you know, we weren't, we're kind of in the mountains. So they would have needed that puffer vest. The girls probably had to help out on the ranch too. Okay, I just finished looking in the closet, nothing in there, but God, even the, well, I can't really close the door, it's stuck, but the wood is so nice. Like everything in this place is really nice. This must've been a really beautiful house. Okay, let's go back through. This is just kind of like a box of, well, the leftover detritus from Christmas ornaments. The ornaments themselves aren't in there anymore, but. Okay, yikes, this is really friggin' creepy. I mean, even the outlet looks old timey and creepy. Look at that. I mean, well, that magazine there was from 93, so. Uh, let's see if that's the latest date we find in here. Oh my goodness, look at this living room. Okay, I gotta be careful, obviously, because unfortunately, this beautiful ceiling is collapsing. Thankfully, there's something powerful enough in here to hold it up, and that's this amazing old television in a cabinet. My favorite kind of television and it's in pristine condition but then there's another tv on top of it so i guess maybe they wanted to watch two channels at once oh god and then there's some like oh, i guess those are old phone books next to it yeah okay well i gotta be careful about this ceiling but oh my god i don't even know where to start I don't wanna... i'm kind of afraid to move stuff because like, there might be snakes under it you know 
What's this? Oh, it looks like an old National Geographic. It sure is. What year is this from? November 2003. Oh, that's not that long ago. I mean, golly, looking at these this furniture and stuff, I would have thought this place was abandoned way before that. Oh, three. Wow. It's another one of those chairs like we were in the bedrooms. It must have been a full set, like a dining table set. Wow. And then apparently the house was heated by this central furnace thing. I guess it's a furnace because... Oh, look at it. That's old timey. King. Wow. Low or high. Two settings. And then apparently you could boil water on top of it. Use it to heat your water. That's cool. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wee. And this place had like curtains hanging over the windows. Interesting wallpaper in here. Like everything in this house is so cool and quaint and old timey. But then there's this hideous... I don't know if that's like 70s, 80s furniture and carpeting. Like, ugh, yuck. That friggin' TV. Oh, look, here's a calendar. What does this say? December 99. Okay, well, we know people were here after that because of that National Geographic. And I don't think, like, off-roaders would have come in here and left at National Geographic. So that had to be something that the people who, who lived here read. Oh, there's another one of the chairs there. From the set. Look at these windows and everything. Gosh, just, this must have been such a cool old ranch house. Oh my god, look at the carpet in here. Oh my god, this is a nice oriental carpet. Or fake oriental, whatever. It's nice and it's in perfect shape. Just, you know, it just needs to be vacuumed. All the poop off. Rat poop. Look at this though. Look at this kitchen. Awesome old, uh, what do you call that? Sideboard? Keep all the dishes in. Oh look, more Christmas ornaments. It's like they must have left during Christmas time because there's just like Christmas stuff out everywhere. You know what I mean? I wonder what happened. They had a bad fight on Christmas and everybody left? Okay, I'm gonna step back into the corner of this awesome ranch kitchen and show you what we're dealing with. Look, paper towel roll. Big old ranch refrigerator range. And then look at this giant friggin' table for all the ranch ants, the two girls, whoever all was gonna eat a big old ranch breakfast. <laughs> In fact, it really is just like something out of Norman Rockwell. Boy, this place reminds me of the Norman Rockwell American Dream Gone South. Uh, actually, Norman Rockwell, yikes, is my favorite artist. I love Norman Rockwell. And I know like, well, I was an art major and if you're like really into art, I guess that's kind of like D class A to admit, but I love Norman Rockwell, man. I love the dream that he was a peddling. And he was actually a really interesting guy. He was actually very progressive. Uh, for his day and unfortunately all the magazines would only pay him to keep churning out this folksy Americana stuff because even back then people were obsessing about how much greater things were back in the old days you know so that's how he made his money but then he kind of started working his progressive views into his art like he did that painting of the little black girl uh, the first little black girl that went to an integrated school and they were throwing tomatoes at her you know he did those then he did that picture of the two little black kids that are moving into the white neighborhood Oh man, he did some pretty cool stuff, and yes, he was he, he was one of those rare exceptions where he actually got more progressive as he got older. Usually it's the opposite. Anyways, enough about Norman Rockwell. Let's keep looking around. Okay, so aside from the Norman Rockwell calendar, which by the way is from 1997, we also have a May 05 calendar. Look, I guess it's some kind of rancher calendar. Have clean clothing and a disinfecting procedure for everyone who goes into your bird holding area. Oh, it's in English and Spanish. Interesting. Look at this. This is cool. Remington brings back the guide bullet knife. Oh my god, look. This guy's in a tent and a grizzly is in the tent with them. He's in his long johns. Oh my god, yikers. I don't think that bullet knife's going to do you much good against a grizzly, unfortunately. I mean, he's, the one guy's got a rifle and he's not even able to use that. What year was this? Oh my god, this is a cool calendar. Look at all these. Again, just sort of like hearkening back to a bygone era that probably never really existed. <laughs> Manly men, adventure, but it doesn't say what year. It's from Colorado Springs, interesting. That's really far from here. Wow, we, okay, well, this is the ranch kitchen. You can just picture the ranch wife in here frying up a big griddle full of hotcakes. Oh my God, look, the silverware thing's still in there, yuck. Oh my god, the cheese grater. Oh, the can opener. Wow. Oh, it's sad. More Christmas stuff. Why now? I guess a rat or something dragged it in there. 
Okay, look back in here though, this is cool. What is this, like an auxiliary kitchen? There's no sink in the main kitchen. I guess this is just the dishwashing room. Wow, look at this old sink and it's like, their coffee cups are still up in the cupboards. Greasy old frying pans, oh my goodness. Water heater. Look. Country kitchen. Yep, that's exactly where we are, in a country kitchen, but not the kind you would use for marketing pancakes and syrup. Look, they even left like dishes in the friggin' dish trainer. Is this the Great Land? Alaska, oh my gosh. Oh, maybe somebody went to Alaska for vacation. What does it say? Oh, Jeepers Jamboree. I guess somebody was a Jeeper. My goodness. Holy man. Oh, look, there's even still like food in the cupboard. Yikes, canned goods. Split pea soup, hominy, a top of got some yams, pork and beans, all the fixins for a delicious rancher's dinner. Yummy. Oh, and then look down here. They got all these jugs of water labeled faucet. Like maybe you could only drink certain water here. Like the water wasn't all good to drink. I don't know. Oh man, look at all these mugs down there. The bus tub. Wow, wait. Look, Dutch cleanser. Boy, it's going to take a lot of old Dutch cleanser to get this place spick and span. I've actually been to the Dutch cleanser mine where they, whatever talc, I guess, is in it. Um, I made a video there. It's really neat. Check that out. I'll put a link to it up here. Okay, so here's another calendar. Look at this. It's a Mack truck. Big rig calendar. Sexy. Is this all like sexy big rigs? Oh my God, that's a calendar for me. You know, I love my trucks. Oh, wow. Dawn Chaser Express. Oh my God, what an awesome name for a big rig. Okay, this calendar's from 04. There's one behind it too, what's this? Oh, that one's from 03, it looks like muscle cars. <laughs> huh, so 03, 04, and then we did see that one here from 05, so, hmm. Wow, this is really sad because it looked like it was a really nice, well cared for place at one time and then, <laughs> Well, then the ceiling fell in. Yeah, it really almost seems like they left on Christmas. <laughs> I don't know though. I mean, all their clothes and stuff are gone, so maybe they just left the Christmas decorations behind. Cause they, you know, who takes that stuff with them? And then the rats got into it and dragged it out. I don't know. But it definitely seemed like there was, well, maybe there was no ranch wife. Maybe it was just the two girls and that was their Tampax and Maybe it was all women. Maybe it was a big old lesbian ranch. What do I know? All right, let's go back outside. Place is creepy. Ooh, what a sad but fascinating abandoned ghost ranch. Still trying to figure out if I think a family lived here or if it was a bunch of lesbians or what. Or maybe, you know, I did do another video, not, well, when you're out here in this huge desolate area, distances are relative, so, relatively close to here. I did a video where I found a bunch of old papers and medical bills from what looked like an old rancher who had gotten cancer and then went into bankruptcy. It's conceivable that this might have been his house. Uh, Cause those papers I feel like were mostly from the eighties, nineties. You know, I suppose his wife could have hung on for a couple more years, oh four or five, but why would his wife have a big rig calendar and a muscle car calendar, you know what I mean? I don't know. Could be totally unrelated, could be the same people, but either way, fascinating and sad, and I'm glad I stopped. <laughs>